All right, the relevant range. Well, I didn't know what this was when I was taking the exam and no one explained it to me well enough. So it's my job to explain to you what this is doing. Okay, well, the relevant range basically says that between a certain level of production, our variable costs remain stagnant. But let's say from zero to 2000 tables, our variable costs, you know, are not very consistent. They just go up and down, right? It it depends, right? It totally depends. Now, under the relevant range, they increase proportional to the amount of units you produce. So this is cost over here on the y-axis. This is units produced. So this is right here. You see, it's very, it's it's nice and consistent. I mean, as much as as much as the graphic will, uh, you know, display it, right? So this is nice and consistently increasing as uh, you make units. Now, why would there only be this you know, sweet spot, I'll call it? Well, because let's say economies of scale, when you're only making a few units, it's staggering, right? It's economies of scale, it, it's more expensive. But think of this, once you get into the groove, right? Once you get into the sweet spot of production, then it's consistently increasing your variable costs as it goes up. And then maybe after a certain amount, what whatever happens, right? It just goes off the deep end, and it does not. It, there's no proportion. Uh, your variable costs are not proportionally consistent, and this is just a concept, right? It's just a concept to know for some multiple choice questions. Again, it's just because it'll a question will say, "Oh, so and so over the relevant range um, increases, right? Like, should it, what what? How should it act?" And you know, say it would be proportional. Whereas a linear relationship right here, costs just increase linearly as as we go up. Uh, what what did I write specifically? Well, the range between units with which variable costs increase proportionally consistent. When not enough units are made, economies of scale may make the per unit cost more expensive. When more units are made than the relevant range, so over here, the standard rate of variable cost can change due to many factors. That's my way of saying it really can be anything, right? It can mess with it afterward. So within the relevant range, variable costs are the same per unit. That's what I'm drilling in here. So within this relevant range, maybe variable cost per unit is $10, right? But then here it's, oh, $20, uh, $19, $22. But within the relevant range, variable costs remain at a standard cost. And same with here outside the relevant range, lower than it. Oh, variable costs are $5, 6 7 Now they're back down to 4 They're just all over the place. But once you make more or less units than what falls within the relevant range, variable costs per unit will change. Hey there, are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material? We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai, where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together.